The goal of this week's lab is to examine um, cells. We're going to use the microscope to examine cells and we'll be looking at various microscopic techniques to examine a variety of different cells. This is the microscope we'll be using. This is a bright field microscope. Bright field microscopes begin at the bottom with a light source. The light source shines light up through the substage. There's a condenser that basically focuses light. The light passes through an object, then goes directly through. It's transmitted up into one of these structures, which are called objectives. It then goes um, through this tube, bounces off a mirror, hits the um, ocular, and it's magnified again by this lens, which is a 10x ocular. Here we have various objectives. We have a 4x objective now in place. We always want to start with our lowest magnification in place because then it's easy to move things on and off the stage. We have a 10x objective, a 40x objective here, a 40x objective here for something called phase contrast, which we are not going to look at, and a 100x objective up here. Okay, so our 4x objective is in place. If we have a 10x ocular, a 4x objective, 4 times 10 is 40x. That will magnify a slide by 40x times. Our 100x then is our maximum. Our 100x is designed to be used with oil. We will use the 100x at the end when we look at bacteria. That 100x then times the 10x ocular is 1000x. Now we also have a camera attached. This camera then goes right into the eyepiece. So we basically take this eyepiece out, put this camera in, and we have it hooked up to a computer. We can get a live image of the computer. So everything that I see in the microscope, you will see on um, this computer image, and you will get a nice live view of exactly what's going on with the microscope. For example, here's a slide that I made up. This will be one of the slides that we'll be looking at later in lab. We'll just throw it in here really fast so that you can see what's going on. And we'll focus it, kind of move it down a little bit, put some stuff in the center that looks cool. Then what I can do is easily switch to a higher magnification, focus it, okay, center of the object, there's actually several things on here which are pretty neat, I just have to choose one, center it, focus, alright, then we can center it again and look at various objects, so here The first technique we want to do is a wet mount. To do the wet mount, we're going to use it to look at plant cells. So our plant cells are going to be off of the leaves of this plant, which is Elodea densa. And first step then is to take a chem white, make sure that my microscope slide is totally clean. So I'm going to clean off that microscope slide really well. Then I'm going to reach in here. We want a teeny tiny leaf off the top. So you get a little leaf right off the very, very top of that. And I just want one leaf. We'll put it down and stick it down on there. And now I'm going to take my eyedropper, get a drop of water, put that right on top there. Now I'm going to grab a cover slip and gently put the cover slip, whoop, we just want one cover slip, not two. Gently put the cover slip down on top. And here is our wet mount all ready to go. So the technique that I want to show you here is going to be what's called a smear preparation. In order to do a smear preparation, I need all of these items, a striker with a flint in the striker a loop, a test tube clamp, a plate with bacteria, a microscope slide, and a wash bottle, and a Bunsen burner. Okay, so um, here's our bacteria. What we want to do is, is get bacteria on our microscope slide so that we can stain the bacteria and see them underneath the microscope. We can see two different types of bacteria. Here's red, this red is all bacteria. Each of these little dots is a colony of bacteria as well. Both are different species. This one is a different species than that, so we have two different species of bacteria in here represented. Okay. 
Now the first step is going to be lighting the Bunsen burner. So what I want to do, and when you light Bunsen burners, Bunsen burners are tough to light. You want to be safe. Stay away. If you have hair, tie back your hair. Make sure that um, long hair doesn't get near it because hair really goes up in flames quite easily. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn on the gas. Now this time I'm going to show you what not to do to begin with. So I turn the gas way up and I hear that gas. And if I turn the gas really high, when I try to light the Bunsen burner, it basically goes out all the time. So I don't want to turn it up really, really high. I want to barely turn it to where I hear it here. So I'm going to be quiet here. I barely hear any of the sound coming out. Then I just click on that and see it a little bit too high. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And then we can get it if we just barely, barely get that. Okay, then you can adjust the bottom here so that you get a nice cone because the more air you get, the better the cone. If you have a nice cone coming up, the hotter that is. Right at the top of the cone is the hottest. And so if I put my loop down, then I can flame my whole loop with just one without. So what some students do is they'll put it down here and you see that doesn't get hot at all. So you go right up at the tip, you angle it down, and you get a nice hot loop on that all the way up there. Okay? So there's bacteria everywhere. And because there's bacteria everywhere, we want to make sure that um, we heat that loop correctly. Now what I want to do before I heat my loop though is that I want to basically take my slide and get a nice drop of water. For this, when we spread it out, we want a teeny tiny drop. And sometimes this is hard to get a teeny tiny drop on here, especially with this. So I'll push that up and we can see that I shot a drop on there, but there's two or three tiny, tiny drops on here. I'm going to flame my loop again. And I'm actually going to bring this water together because, uh, and you saw how that sizzled on there. So we'll bring this water together here. So right now there's nothing on it, but we do want all our water on there. So we want a tiny, tiny drop of water. We want it spread out like that. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flame my loop. We want to get bacteria in that drop of water. So as you saw before, it's really hot. So I go here, flame my loop. I'm going to lift up my plate gently because I don't want all the bacteria on my plate. And I'm just going to cool off my loop there. And I'm going to get one teeny tiny colony right there. And that has a lot of bacteria in it. Then I'm going to take my plate, my slide, and I'm just going to stir all of those bacteria around in a nice big loop. Okay. Now my slide has to evaporate and dry, so I'll keep those all right there spread out because we want that slide to dry. All right. I'm going to set it here and wait for it to dry. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to turn off my gas and give it a few minutes, although Talking and doing this at the same time is tough, so I'm going to turn on my gas. Get that flame going again. And reflame my loop because we have to kill all those bacteria that we just placed on that loop. So we want to make sure we have a nice sterile technique. So all those bacteria are dead. I'm going to set down my loop. Now I'm going to turn off my Bunsen burner so that it's safe. Never leave a Bunsen burner unattended. Okay, so I have a safe setting. We're going to wait for this to dry. And it's almost actually dry. Okay. Okay, now to complete my smear preparation. Here's my smear preparation. It is dry now. So I'm going to relight my Bunsen burner. I barely hit that gas, get that going. And now what I want to do is take my slide and I want to fix the bacteria. So we're doing what's called heat fixation. I basically take this slide, angle it away, and just go over 1, 1,000, 1, 1,000, and that's all I do. Do not touch the end of this because that's hot now. And so then I'll just go over here and place that then on the staining tray. After it's on the staining tray, then I'm going to turn off my Bunsen burner. I'm going to add methylene blue. So we'll put methylene blue on top of this stain. 
and then we will leave that methylene blue there for one minute. All right now the next step in staining is simply washing it off. So we put our slide here, we put our stain, it's been one minute. So I'm just going to take my wash bottle and I can either take the, the clips. I don't really like the clips because they're a little bit cumbersome. I personally like to just grab the slide. If you have gloves on, that's a lot better because then you're not going to stain your fingers or anything. So definitely wear gloves doing this. And then we'll just go ahead and just wash that off. All right. Then the final step is simply just to take some chem wipes and blot it off. Okay. So for chem wipes then, Here's our chem wipes. Just take a chem wipe, we'll blot off the top, blot off the bottom, and put it on the microscope. To go under oil on the microscope, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swivel halfway between my 40X and my 100X, put a drop of oil directly on the microscope slide, then swivel in my 100X. This is my oil. I'll open my bottle, swivel this halfway between those two, and then put a drop right on the microscope slide itself. Now I'm going to swivel into 100X. Once I'm under oil, I can never go back to the 40X because this is not made for oil, whereas the 100X is. Oil is designed to make more light. As you increase um, magnification, you need more light to increase the resolution to actually be able to see a cell. So we need that oil on there to have enough light to visualize those cells underneath the scope. So the technique we'll be working on right now is just simply how to put away your microscope. So here we have a microscope. It's in focus. We've got a slide on here. Oil immersion objectives in place and it has oil on it. So now I want to put it away properly and so key thing is if there's oil on this slide right here, I can't swivel back to the 40X because this 40X is going to go right in the oil. So I have to swivel my scope this way. You notice I did not change the focus. I just swiveled the um, 4X in place. That gives me room for the stage to where I can go in and I can remove the slide. Now what I want to do is I want to clean the objectives. So to clean the objectives, I do not want to use chem wipes. Chem wipes are in here to clean off slides. Okay, these are never to be used on the objectives because these can scratch the objectives. So slides only, not objectives. In the room then you will have little containers called lens paper. We've cut the lens paper into little squares for your convenience. And so we can take the little square and we can see what's happening. All right. So now I'm going to actually swivel this one more over to the 10X because the 10X still has a lot of space. And I'm going to go over here to the 40X. I'm going to wipe that. I'm actually going to swivel it so I can reach it. I'm going to wipe that 40X. And if we look at the lens tissue on the 40X, it has a teeny bit of oil on there. So whoever uses this scope last left a little bit of oil on that 40X objective. That should never be the case. I should never have any translucence from the 40X objective. So I'm going to wipe it again with a new piece and you can see that's better. I'm going to take a third piece that has no translucence on it and we will wipe it a third time and then that objective is totally clean. Now if we go over to the 100X objective we have a lot of oil on the 100X objective so I'm going to swivel it back. Over here here's my 100X objective and if I wipe my 100X objective okay we then can see all that translucence there of the oil on my 100X objective. So I'm going to want to go back and wipe it again. And really it might take two or three times with a real clean piece of lens paper where I wipe in various clean spots. I might shift it and go to a nice clean spot. And then I wipe it. I grab a brand new piece, wipe it. And if I have no translucence at all, it's ready to go. Then what I want to do is wheel in the 4X. Do not change the focus because that means the next student comes in. If that student just goes and puts their slide on the stage right there, this will now be in focus. I don't have to crank this up, cranks this down, 
it's in focus, the next student is in focus. If everybody does that, we don't have a problem focusing because one of the biggest time sinks in here is focus and the big problem there is because students crank this up and crank this down. Put in the 4X, remove the slide, and you are set. And then the last thing that I want to mention is that for a lot of students, one of the things that happens is that they'll take a piece of lens tissue they will wipe the 100x objective and then get oil all over that lens tissue. And they'll basically take an oily piece of lens tissue, go over here, wipe the 10x, and then in effect wipe oil onto the 10x and oil onto the 40x. Always make sure you have a very clean piece of tissue so that you never wipe oil on an otherwise clean objective.